crammed in here like sardines to watch this kind of fight. It certainly could have been held elsewhere in front of a much larger crowd. There was no doubt of that. Good left from Mancini landed. And there's one back to the champion Arguello. Mancini, the challenger on the left. Good left hand landed from Arguello. Arguello was trying to snap that jab out and set Mancini up and bring punches up. Looks like they're both trying to maintain a pace. Arguello scoring. Arguello caught the Mancini with a good left hook coming in, Tim. Long right hand landed to the cheekbone of Mancini from Arguello. The crime with Gil Clancy. Punches, one punch or three punches and stop. He really has to become a hurricane. Really try to overwhelm Arguello. Believe in his punches and get him off. Arguello. Round number four. Arguello opened with a combination that scored, but Mancini came right back with a flurry of punches that landed. Mancini is on the attack again, but he's, uh, he's landing, but he's not cutting out the ring as I talked about earlier. Now he cut it off. Beautiful move by Mancini. He stepped over to the right and came back with it. Left uppercut from Arguello. Grazed Mancini. He'll counter back with the right to the head. Mancini climaxed right at the bell by that left underneath and a straight right hand. Straight left jab from Arguello. Good right hand from Mancini. See, Tim. <laughs> oh, there's a good solid left hook. Right hand from Mancini score. Less than 30 seconds round. He's going back to the well. Back to Big the right hand by Arguello. This kid can take moves his head so well. He keeps moving from the body up and his waist up. That has given Arguello so much trouble because that the jab of Arguello is his best weapon. It seems to me that Mancini is having a little more success getting in. Totally unfounded. Sean, this round, this round Mancini is giving Arguello a little too much time to get set. Those old legs, you have to keep backing them up. But Mancini keeps hitting Arguello. That's what established the control in the last round. You gotta keep hitting the mark. Uppercut from Arguello's score to the chest of Mancini. Solid left hook to the body from Arguello. He shook Ray a little bit. Shook him a little bit with that left hook. Good solid left back up Mancini. to go, round nine. Now they're toe-to-toe -to -toe in the center of the ring. Flurry of Aguayo seemed to wake Mancini up. Beautiful combination by both men. And now Mancini is back on the forward motion. He's got Aguayo backing up again. Mancini letting it hang out here. Well, apparently Arguello was not damaged. His vision was not damaged by it. He appears to be all right. As we are now in round 10, and they come out with a furious pace. Then it's a pier six ball right now. Punch for punch. You hit me, and I hit you. Good left hook there on the left eye. Good left hook, Mancini coming out. Mancini scores to the body, but Arguello countered with a beautiful left hook right on the button. And here he's another one. Again. Two Mancini right hands on the arm. Now Mancini scoring. One thing Mancini can't cannot do, he cannot come in without punching. He's tried to do that a couple of times this round. He has to move in behind punches. Quayle landed a good right yes, hand he did. to go on another good straight left there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
good left gap from Arguello Lamb. Mancini needs these last four rounds big for the Latin champion. Right hand from that champion. Yes. Nothing seems to rattle Arguello. Flurries, whatever. He stays cool. Win or lose, he stays cool in there. And he scored a combination. There's another left from the champion. Tremendous left hook by Arguello. Coming to the end of round 12. There he is, big right hand, and Mancini wobbled at the bell. That's what happens when you get knocked out. You lose all your senses of direction. Also, the legs going. You can see that he's got very strong. We shot our way over the tie. And it looks like he's in right trouble. Big trouble again. He's wobbling pretty good right now. Dave Wolf, who's in the corner of Rayman City, just tried to throw in the towel, and some of the spectators put him back down. That hook landed from Mark Whale. Mancini, some difficulty now with blood from the mouth and the nose. Come from the championship from Mancini, so it's truly uphill now for Mancini. Well, Tim, we had mentioned that earlier. You can, you can be out pointing a guy like Aguayo, and once you go punch to punch with him, all of a sudden he hits you with that big one and turns everything around, and that's just what happened in the fight. Does look a little more alert, a little more bright eyed this round than he did in round 13. We're not writing him off yet, of course. It's only round 14. Anything can happen. But it appears that the champion has turned the tide from about the midway point in this fight. He landed He's a hurt big against him. He's hurt he hurt. this time. There he goes. Right hand sent him down, but it was two strong lefts, and that's it. Tony Tim. Perez says that's and enough. Right, rightly so, Tim. He was hurt badly. No sense letting it go on any further. He could no longer win the fight. Well, he shot the left hook, then he came back with another right hand. And then I believe another left hook. There it was. And from the first from the first punch that Ray Mancini got, got hit with, he was out. There's a big right hand. He's a complete fighter. He, he let uh, Mancini take control in the first rounds, let Mancini get excited, let Mancini uh, get hyper about winning the title. Let him get out in front. There's that right hand. WBC lightweight champion Alexei Arguello. Arguello.